I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you, my dear friend. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. My dear friend, every day we seek to get closer to God. Every day we press on and we press in, knowing that in God's presence is where we flourish as believers. My dear friend, today is Friday and we're going to be doing just that. We are going to press in and we are going to pray and trust God over our finances. You see, my dear friend, every Friday we pray Friday financial prayers. And the reason why we pray Friday financial prayers is because we know that God is the one who supplies everything for us. You see, that business that you might be running or that job that you might be working, it is God who opened the door so that you can be working in that place or running that business. It is God who opened the door so that you could have those contracts. It is God who supplies for you, my dear friend. So even as we trust God, God will promote you. God will open doors. God will take you to greater glories. But you have to put your trust in God and go and do things in the way that God wants you to do them. My dear friend, the title of my message today is The Power of Trusting God. And I'm going to be taking my reading from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6 from verse 24 all the way to verse 33 in the ISV version. So without any further delay, my dear friend, let us get into it. It says, No one can serve two masters, because either he will hate the one and love the other, or be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and riches. Verse 25, That's why I'm telling you, stop worrying about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, whatever you will wear. Life is more than food, isn't it? And the body more than clothing? Verse 26, look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant or harvest or gather food into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. You are more valuable than they, aren't you? Verse 27, can any of you add a single hour of length to your life by worrying? Verse 28, and why do you worry about clothes? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't work or spin. Verse 29, but I tell you, that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. Verse 30, Now if that is the way that God clothes the grass in the field which is alive today and thrown into the oven tomorrow, won't he clothe you much better, you who have so little faith? Verse 31, So don't ever worry by saying, What are we going to eat? Or what are we going to drink? Or what are we going to wear? Verse 32, Because it is the unbelievers who are eager for all those things. Surely your heavenly Father knows that you need all of them. Verse 33, But first be concerned about God's kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be provided for you. Hallelujah. My dear friend, this is such a powerful passage of Scripture. And oftentimes we read it and we, we pass over it. We don't see what Jesus is actually saying. But it just shows us that us as believers, we just simply need to trust God and He'll supply everything that we need. You see, in this passage of scripture, Jesus isn't saying don't push for the top. He isn't saying that you must be poor. He isn't saying that you must be suffering. He isn't saying any of that. What he is actually saying is you must trust God. My dear friend, one thing that we need to see here is that when we worry about things like money and material possessions, then that thing becomes our master. We shouldn't worry about those things, my dear friend, but we should have faith and trust in God so that God remains our only master. The first thing that we can learn from this passage of scripture, my dear friend, is you can't serve two masters because at some stage you will abandon one of the masters and be devoted unto the other. So the Lord recommends that we shouldn't worry about money. And when we don't worry and we trust in God, we show God that God is our master and we believe and we have faith. As believers, the Lord Jesus says we don't need to worry about money or the things that we need. We simply just need to trust God like we're doing today and go on and do your job or your business or your work. Do it faithfully and God will supply for you. Worrying about all these things, my dear friend, won't add anything to your life. It won't do anything for you, but it will just stress you out. Our Lord Jesus does not want us to worry. He doesn't want us to worry, but just to trust in God. So even today, Purpose in your heart that you will set aside all worry and you'll just begin to pray 
Pray consistently and persistently. Aim to be closer to God and God will supply. In fact, in verse 32, my dear friend, if you read verse 32, it actually says, let me read it to you. Let me find it for you quickly and read it. It says, because it is the unbelievers who are eager for all those things. Surely your heavenly father knows that you need all of them. So my dear friend, one thing that we see over here is that Jesus shows us clearly that it's the unbelievers who have to worry about these things. But we as believers, God knows everything that we need. He knows our dreams. He knows our aspirations. He knows that you want to get that house that you've been dreaming about. He knows that you want to get that job. He knows that you want to go far in your life. He knows that you've got certain goals and dreams, but you need to trust him. And as you trust him, he will open up the way for you. Just stay close to God and keep your life right with God and all these things will be supplied for you. This is why it says in verse 33, but first be concerned about God's kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be provided for you as well. In saying that, my dear friend, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to pray. We're going to pray powerful prayers. And as we pray, God is going to come through for you mightily. Now, my dear friend, on this channel, we always begin by praising God. So wherever you are, just begin to lift up praises to God. Begin by praising Him. And as the presence of God comes in the place, we're going to begin to pray. And God is going to answer us. And He's going to supply everything that you need. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. We give You thanks for another day that You've given us. We give You thanks, Lord, because You are with us and You never leave us. You never ever forsake us. Lord, your presence is all that we need. Your presence is what we desire. And we know that as we are close to you, as we seek to be closer to you, you will supply everything that we need because you know all our needs. We give you praise, Lord, that you know everything that we need. You know all of our desires. And even as we trust you and we stay close to you, you supply everything that we need. Lord, there have been so many times when it could have been the end. And yet, both myself and my dear friend, we are still here, trusting you, praying to you, seeking you, because you open the way where there seems to be no way. You make a way where there seems to be no way and you enable us to keep on going. Even when we reach situations where it seems like it's the end, you open up the way and we keep on going. So even today, Lord, as we are trusting you, as we are believing you, I pray that you will do the same. And even as you do so, Lord, receive all the praise, receive all the glory, Receive all the honor in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the presence and the power of God is here. Now, I trust and believe that even as we pray, God is going to touch you and God's going to do what only he can do in your life and your life will never be the same again. So we're going to go straight into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray. And even as we begin to pray, my dear friend, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is lift up your hands and say this very simple prayer out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place. Come and move and touch me and change my life. Take me closer to Christ. I pray this in Jesus name and I thank you for it, Lord. The second thing that I want to encourage you to do even as we pray, my dear friend, is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Lord, wherever my dear friend is and in whatever situation my dear friend finds themselves financially, Lord, because today is Friday and on Friday we pray Friday financial prayers. Release the grace over my dear friend in whatever situation it is, that my dear friend will trust you with all of my dear friend's heart. Lord, because we understand and know that some of these things are easier said than done. And as human beings, we are weak in our own strength. We need your strength to enable us. So by the power of your spirit, release the grace over my dear friend, that my dear friend will be able to trust you through every situation. And even right now, if my dear friend is trusting you for a job, let my dear friend receive a job. If my dear friend is trusting you for that business to turn around and to start producing good figures, Lord, I pray that you will turn that business around, turn it around and bring results. Lord, in the workplace, if my dear friend is trusting you for a promotion or if my dear friend has never received a promotion yet and they just want to go to a greater glory, they want to advance in their career, open up the door so that my dear friend may go further. I pray this in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, show my dear friend, Lord, that as my dear friend trusts in you, you will give everything my dear friend needs and you will supply everything. You will never let down my dear friend in any way. I pray this in Jesus name and I pray Lord, remove every form of worry. Wherever there's any worry, 
wherever there's any anxiety caused because of financial stress, Lord, I pray that you will supply everything and remove all worry. Give my dear friend who's watching this video divine peace and let that peace be a confirmation that you have heard our prayer today and you are coming through for us mightily. Help us by your spirit to stay close to you and in right standing with you for your word says, seek first the kingdom of God, knowing that all these things shall be added unto us. Lord, we want to be closer to you. We want to be in your presence at all times. Release the grace over my dear friend that my dear friend may be able to seek you on a deeper level, that my dear friend may be able to walk in a greater level and a greater dimension of your anointing and of your power, even as my dear friend seeks to be closer to you and spends more time with you, O oh God. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you that even today you have heard our prayers and today's prayers are answered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I apply the blood of Jesus over you right now, my dear friend. I decree and declare wherever the devil has been affecting your life, it is stopping today in the name of Jesus. Wherever you have been struggling to get ahead in life, from today onwards, I decree and declare with the power in the name of Jesus, you will make progress. You will get ahead and no devil will stop you. No one will hold you back in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. It is a done deal, my dear friend. God said it. I believe it. And that settles it. Until we meet again tomorrow in another video that will bless and change your life forever. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.